Hey guys, I'm Keith, and today I want to show you how to make your own custom Lego pieces. Here's what we're going to need to get started. First, I find a Lego piece that fits right on my sheep. I decide to go with a flat piece because it fits well and it's flush. I then hot glue the Lego piece to the sheep. Make sure the Lego piece is on exactly how you want it. If you're using a full size Lego piece and not a flat one like I had, I suggest filling it mostly up with clay or using a hot glue gun to fill it up as much as possible. You don't have to do this, but it leaves less room for error when you're making your mold. Right now I'm just smoothing out the bottom of the sheep so it'll make the Lego piece stronger and it'll make it look more flush once we casted it. I then spray the sheep with a silicone mold release and I also spray the inside of the container so it's easy to take the mold out. Then I take my bubble buster and spray the sheep evenly and effectively. This bubble buster will help stop bubbles being formed on the mold. I then take my sheep and put it in a container and fill it up with composite mold only about halfway. For this particular project, I'm making this a two-part mold. That's why I only fill it up halfway. So I'm going to be moving this into the freezer and we'll fill up the rest later. After taking it out of the freezer, I fill it up the rest of the way. I then put it back in the freezer and after it cools, I take the mold right out. You may have to use a knife to reopen the seam. After that, you can simply open it right back up and take the sheep right out. I then glue it back together and make sure it's pressed shut. Using my hot glue gun, I melt a small access point for the composite cast to go into. Now it's ready for the composite cast. Okay, now I'm outside ready to put the composite cast into the mold. So what I have right now is I have my composite cast mix, my gloves, two mixing cups and a mixing stick, and my mold, and my safety goggles. I mix the composite cast together in a 50-50 ratio. Then I pour it into my composite mold through the access point that I made earlier. So now all you have to do is take your sheep out of the cast, and this is what you come out with. Check it out guys, your new and improved Lego sheep. Now all I have to do is paint it. Let's get to it. Done. I just finished painting my sheep and it is now finished and now ready to go in place with the rest of my Legos. This has been making your own custom Lego piece with composite mold and composite cast. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to get back to you.